Bedford. What are his strengths? Ooh, well, I can't decide between his chocolate cake and his date and walnut cake. They're both good. Liz, not so much the food, but well, how did we see him in the library? Well, when he brought those cakes in, it was at the time we really needed them most. So, and I, you know, I thought that was a really compassionate thing to do. And I think he's very gentle, like a teddy bear. His actions are really pastoral. Mm. Dan mm. is a compassionate, gentle, pastoral baker. Mm. But recently. Well, what about when he, he really is keen to get behind the library counter and, and he shows his initiative and in, in issuing his own books? And he's, he's always willing to help out when we need some assistance in the library. That's it, Dan. That's how we see you in the library. Okay. That combination will make you a good pastor. But if you ever want to do something different, you would make an excellent library, library consultant, consultant for the, for the great New Zealand Bake Off. Conrad, congratulations on completing your Kerry training. Um, you've got a great heart. You love Jesus, you love people, and it shows. Um, and you've been gifted with a really good mind, the ability to think and to communicate clearly and to preach really effectively. It's really exciting to think about where and how God's going to lead you in the years ahead. And I pray God's richest blessing on you. May you know his grace and his peace as you seek to discern the way ahead. Dan Marshall, congratulations on tonight. My prayer for you is that God will continue to use your uh, energy, your enthusiasm and your slightly fiery nature at times to do something wonderful in his kingdom. I hope that you and Lisa enjoy this ministry journey together. Mate, keep reading, keep thinking, and keep serving Christ with everything you've got. Hi Jackie, I always look for you at community lunches. You are a great person to sit with. Um, you are a woman of prayer. Um, I love the way our worlds have overlapped by you praying uh, for my son-in-law as a new Christian at Rangitoto College and for you being with a mutual friend, Diane, when she passed away from cancer. Um, you are a significant person in caring and loving people well and Windsor Park are very fortunate to have you on their pastoral care team as we have been so blessed to have you with us in this season at Kerry. Nathan, congratulations on getting to this stage of your development and studies. Um, it's been a real pleasure and privilege to get to know you over these past years. You're a godly man with great people skills, you're very likeable, and you're very smart, a lot smarter than I think you realise. And I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, where God leads you. Um, I believe you're going to make a huge difference in numerous people's lives. Congratulations and well done. Sarah Davidson, I've really enjoyed getting to know you over these last few years and seeing God grow and develop you. You have a real ability to see things that we often don't see, to talk about things we often don't want to talk about, and to change the nature of conversations. And I hope that as you go forward, God continues to develop these things in you so that you can be an advocate for his kingdom and for the people who are often forgotten about. Hi, Matt and Roxy too. I'm really glad that I get to speak to you guys. I appreciate that you're not completing your studies at the moment, but I look forward to the day that you do. God has blessed you both greatly with many skills and abilities. I love your creativity, Matt. I enjoy listening to you preach the word. I enjoy coming under your pastoral care. May God bless you richly in the months and years that are ahead. Mike, it's been great having you at Cary these last couple of years. You've got a clear heart for mission. It's so evident in the way that you've engaged with the missions track and the way you've been a champion for, for mission here at Kerry. The times we've chatted, I've been really inspired and infected by your, your passion and your initiative in mission. It's been, been great watching God's hand on your life. I'm really sure that God is leading you and Shana and Isaac into some significant overseas work in the future. So really pray God's blessing on you as you finish off your studies here at Kerry. Shane, it's such a joy to be able to say some kind words about a good man tonight. God is gracious. This is the meaning of your name, Shane. And you know how gracious God has been to you. And I want to say tonight how wonderful it's been to have your smiley face around Kerry. 
You are so steadfast, Shane, and I congratulate you and also Lynette on having seen these three years through, and I am so excited to be able to see what God is going to do for you over the next few years. Congratulations. Mike, it's been great having you at Kerry these last three years. Um, I loved it when you come in uh, and with your ready wave to greet us at reception, your warm smile, and I've enjoyed our chats when you've had a moment. Um, to me, you've come across as real people's pastor. So I think it's been lovely having you here. I'm sure you'll be a great pastor and I wish you and your family God's every blessing and all the very best. Tim, you came to the college with a strong family heritage and God has used this foundation to develop you as a pastoral leader. You're an excellent preacher and a man of real depth, not to mention having guns that John Tucker admires. I pray that as you and Liz go forward, God will deepen you as people of integrity, grace and courage. Aaron, congratulations on being our final Youth Ministry Leadership graduating student. Uh, you've worked hard over the last couple of years and you deserve to be at this point now. I hope and pray that you will continue to develop in your leadership as a quiet kind of leader, but someone who really cares about the people around them, who is deeply concerned for the discipleship of the young people that you serve. Um, go well in your upcoming marriage uh, next year, and I pray every blessing on yourself and on Emily as you serve together in ministry in the years to come. Shelley, I've really enjoyed getting to know you and watch you grow these last couple of years. I see in you a woman of immense strength, but also someone of spiritual awareness and grace. You have been an outstanding pastor for Huntley Baptist this year, and I'm confident that God is going to open the right door for you, and I look forward to the next step of your journey. Alan, we've known each other for quite a few years now, but it's been great to watch you this year here at Cary, settling into a theological environment and exploring the theological context for, for your mission work. I've really loved watching you at lunchtimes, engaging with Mike and some of the others in what looks like deep theological discussion. I think you've been rounding out some of your understanding of what it means to be a missionary and building on your experience in the past. We've really enjoyed your dry sense of humour too. It's come through on a number of occasions and that's just been great. We'll be praying for you as you step out into this next season of your life and pray for God's richest blessings on wherever he takes you. Hi Simon and Sarah too. Congratulations on graduating from Kiri. When I think about you, I think about three things. Firstly, a leader who loves the Bible. The church that you work in will be greatly discipled. Secondly, I think about a leader who loves people. The church you work in will be deeply cared for. And thirdly, I think about a loving husband and a loving father. What a great foundation for a pastoral leader. God bless you heaps. Hi Sarah Conradi. I've loved having you at Kerry. You've added so much fun to our Kerry community. Loved your fun days, like the blue and yellow one um, on Tuesday. Uh, I noticed your wall blue, and, um, and we're going to really miss you as well. Um, I've loved watching your on-campus romance blossom and flourish, especially from my office window and the bird's eye view that I have. Um, you are a godly, gracious young woman, very interested in people's lives, always ask the right questions, and I just wish you all the best in your adventures ahead. Hey Conrad! <laughs> yep. Hey Conrad! Hey. <laughs> 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 <laughs>